Well, hello guys, Bob here. Uh, out at the boat, doing a little work today. Last weekend, it was 13 degrees Fahrenheit here. Today it's 43, so gotta take advantage of it. Could get two to eight inches of snow tomorrow. But that's New England, and that's what we deal with. So anyways, if you uh, were able to catch me in the last episode, I um, fit the transom, I call them transom cover panels, on the inside here, uh, on the other side of this transom. And uh, before I remove them, I came out here, and behind this flap is a scupper opening, and I just traced the back on the back side of the panels, this scupper, on both of them, each side. So where this video is going to pick up is where I'm back at the shop and actually cutting out these scupper holes. So I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to get these things installed, these panels installed in this video. Maybe some more. I don't know, I haven't finished putting the video together, so I'm going to try to fit as much as I can in in like 25 minutes. So, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back. Oops, a little bit of a wind here. Be back um, at the end of the video to uh, close it out. I've got this position where I want it. Now i got to mark these holes, these complete are. Okay, a quick explanation of what I was actually doing here. Um, it's all I had to do with when I mount the cleats to this base here. I don't want to do it the same way the factory did. So what I'm going to do is, um, so let me cut out this chunk. I'm going to epoxy this piece of wood to the back here. And um, I'm going to cut some larger holes in here, the pores in a bit, and uh, then assemble it, and then epoxy around all these nuts and everything once it's assembled. That'll capture the nuts in there and the washers and everything and epoxy and epoxy. And uh, they shouldn't spin or do any or move or anything. But I just wanted to get this in the right spot. So I double sided taped this on here and marked it. So now I know it's gonna go back in the same spot. I'll have a little bit of wiggle room, but it'll basically go back in the same spot. Okay, so there's basically one more thing I have to do before I can uh, mount these panels permanently in the boat and that's to add some blocking to the back side of this panel this is the um, starboard side one I'll zoom out so you get a better look in a minute here but what I've got set up here this is the old piece of base trim and it was basically where you see it here flush with the bottom of the panel because the deck went underneath it uh, I'm not going to use this piece of trim I'm going to make a new one but it's good for talking purposes so I'll just move it right now because it's really going to go more up in that area. Uh, the deck's going to go below it. You see a couple lines right here kind of line up where the screws are going to go. Uh, and that's where I got to install the blocking. So I'll zoom out. Get this out of the way here. And uh, show, you, show you what I'm going to use for the actual blocking. So this is a piece of the wood I'm going to use, mahogany. It's about a little over a half inch thick. And it's going to go, say, right here on the back side of this. It'll be about this wide. And I'll just epoxy it on back there. 
this here and over here on both pieces. And then once I'm done with that, then I'll fiberglass over these pieces. So if any water gets down there, it'll give it a little more protection. So then the screws will be able to just um, go right into this and they won't be exposed on the back side. Okay, so today is the big day. We are going to hopefully get both of these panels installed. Now, I showed, the last thing I showed was putting these little blocking pieces on the back. Here's how they ended up right here. Uh, it was a little more um, tricky than I expected. The fiberglass didn't lay on there perfect, so I spent a lot of time dabbing it and trying to get rid of the air bowls. But the first piece was a little tougher. second piece I Got a little bit better at it. So anyway, it's all done. So I just uh, scrubbed these down with a little water and a scotch brake pad this morning. Sanded the bottom here and this edge where it's going to be attached. So they both look like this. Um, and uh, hopefully by the end of the day, it'll be attached to the transom here. Now I have to fit these first because... Uh, I'll flip this one around. This is the starboard one. Over here. Uh, just want to make sure they fit for a final fit. And I want to put a couple screws in this area here. I may have to put one down in this area as well. I'm not really sure. I, get it. I just want to fit it on there. So I may have to put a couple more screws in here. Uh, but that's really about it. That's the only reason. I just sanded the whole thing and cleaned this whole area up back here. So that's ready to go. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to film fitting this. You already saw me fit it. It's just fitting it one more time. And, um, uh, then we'll, um, probably have lunch and try to put these things in. Okay, so I have both pieces, uh, fitting in there. And they fit really, really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I only ended up putting, uh, two screws right here. Didn't have to put any over here, which is good. That'll save me from having to fare anything in there. Uh, and then once I got both pieces in, I went around with a Sharpie, kind of just marked all the areas, this opening, the tops, the sides, just so I know where I'm going to be um, putting uh, epoxy first off, just to wet it out. And then it'll also let me know where to put um, the thickened epoxy when I go to put it on there. So the next step is to remove both of these and then we'll um, install this one and film it and hopefully the filming comes out good if it doesn't we'll be filming that one so anyways um got this done a lot quicker than i thought so that's something that never happens so hopefully everything else goes smoothly
Okay, so everything's in now, and um, next thing to do is mix up this two-part fairing compound here that I've used before. It's Total Fair from Total Boat. Um, and uh, fill all these screw holes in, because um, tomorrow morning I want to get back here and sand all that fairing compound down and um, maybe try to get everything tabbed in around the perimeter. So anyways, I'm going to do that um, next, and um, yeah, and I'll be done for the day. Okay, well, it's the next morning, and it's time to uh, do the next phase of this project, which is to sand down all this filler I put in yesterday before I left. Uh, I didn't film it because I've shown it before, so I didn't bother. But I did get all the screw um, holes filled in with this fairing compound. And now today, it's going to be um, sanding, mostly concentrating on the top stuff, along the top here and down the side, uh, because I want to put some tabbing up here and uh, the top and along that side. So I'm not going to worry too much about these holes or along the bottom here unless I'm on a roll and it's going fast and I feel like doing it. But it's not really essential for me to get this stuff sanded today because um, I really want to get the tabbing done. Um, and the only reason why I'm tabbing is because I want to have some kind of fiberglass over the heads of these screws uh, just in case the fairing compound does something weird. At least there's some fiberglass over the top and um, hopefully it won't show through. So anyways, that's the only reason why. It's all tucked up under here. You're not going to see any of it. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to get that done. I also want to uh, really get the scuppers sanded better. They rough cut those holes, those openings, and uh, they line up pretty good with the original stuff. But uh, the original still has the fiberglass on it and I want to sand all that off and just make the openings uh, match each other because I want to actually fiberglass those openings too. Um, and they're a little bit high uh, in relationship to this plywood. And I know this isn't the finished surface, but I want to have it all level. So I can fiberglass right over this plywood a little bit into it. Um, but anyways, it's not super important, but it'll just be easier to fiberglass that way. And, and that's what I want to do. Okay, so yesterday I came over here and uh, I worked on these scuppers. Now, I didn't film it. It was a little bit windy and uh, I just started working on it and didn't feel like setting up the camera. just wanted to get it done. So anyways, you didn't miss out on too much. I basically uh, had to sand the inside of this opening so the panel was cut a little bit small to make it match the actual opening that was already here. Uh, to do that, I used uh, this little drum sanding kind of attachment on my drill and just went around like that until everything was all nice and level and smooth. And once I got that finished then I uh, came over it with some uh, thickened epoxy, filled in some of the little gaps and things and, and then put some just epoxy over the whole thing just to cover the end grain of the plywood for now. Now today I'm going to come back in here and do a little sanding and um, then I'm going to Cut some pieces of fiberglass to go in here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is um, cut some of this fiberglass tape.
Okay, so I've gone about as far as I can with this transom right now. I've got to wait for a little warmer weather to get back on that. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on uh, installing these drain slash support it's for the hatches. Uh, they're just screwed in right now. I want to epoxy them in. So basically it's going to involve uh, removing these, putting some epoxy on there, and then reinstalling them. Uh, tricky part's going to be uh, creating a fillet on this corner up against the frame. Uh, it's very tight and uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but that's going to be a difficult one. i got to put a fillet on the bottom too, but that should be pretty easy. There's a lot of room down there. Okay, so before I get started, I just took a few minutes to make this little tool. Um, it's really just to get the fillet in there. And I basically just took a popsicle stick and just sanded down one edge. Because if I didn't do that, it's difficult to get the thing at the right angle down in there. Now, most of it isn't this deep, but this will work even if it's shallow. So, anyways, it's a few minutes to uh, make a little tool to help make life easier, hopefully. All right, so one more thing I'll show before I get started here. Uh, I added these little clamps and a little block of wood here. And the reason is I'm going to have difficulty holding it up myself. So I can turn, once I epoxy this, I can turn these things in like that. And then I can just set the whole thing on there to get the screws started or at least get the clamping done. So that's the purpose of, uh, of these things here. So we'll take a look at one of the fillets and one of the drains. This happens to be in the engine bay hatch, but they're all looking about the same. So you can see it there. Uh, and you can see how there's some cleanup to do down from the bottom there. And uh, of course on the sides here, you can see how it's all kind of smeared up on the sides. It's the only way I can get the excess out of there. But, uh, you know, just a little sanding. What else is new? I'm going to try to get the uh, side pieces on over here, uh, four of those today. Now I'm going to have an issue with uh, one of the side pieces over here. Uh, when I was fitting it up, I had my drill set to drill and not to one of the clutch type settings that'll turn off on a certain torque. Um, so I, uh, I broke a screw off in there, so that could be a problem dealing with that. Um, may have to take off this whole center section in front of me uh, to get that thing off, which isn't too bad. I was going to take this center section off anyways uh, because, because, you know, I'm trying to work my way to taking out the fuel tanks here. Um, but I kind of wanted to have it in now so that I could line up the tops, like over in this corner, the tops of these pieces, make sure it goes back in the right place. I mean, it should go right back in the right place. These, pla these pieces went in, like, right exactly where they needed to be. I didn't have to fidget with them or anything. So those should, too. I shouldn't have a problem. I tried to get this off, and I'll show you that it didn't work, but, uh, yeah. You get it up here, but I'm, since I put this piece on, I can't wiggle it enough to even get it past it. Uh, the whole head of the screw is broken off, and I don't think there's much sticking out there, but, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this thing off without destroying something. Uh, I'm going to have to take this whole piece off. Okay, so we've got, um... The eight screws that hold this thing on removed. Uh, just use a couple of little mechanical tools I'm not used to using here on the boat. Mostly uh, using drills and working with wood. You don't use this stuff. Yeah, when I got this off, um, I had a little issue. Uh, the screw, I couldn't spin it all the way because it was hitting on this piece here. So I had to kind of like pry at it and pull at it and uh, 
I ended up chipping out a little of the wood at the surface here. It's not that deep, but um, I really don't want to drill another hole for the other for that for this screw. I mean, this isn't anything that's holding the boat together or anything like that. So I think what I'm going to do, and I've already done it actually, uh, I just drilled for a, a longer screw so I can get into some fresher wood back a little further. Um, the screw broke off. There wasn't much in there when it broke it, so it wasn't too bad. So anyways, I'm going to fill all this with epoxy when I put it on, and then I'll have that deeper screw dri driven in there. And that should be fine over here. It's all going to be epoxied onto this piece anyway, so I think we're good to go. Okay everyone, it is Tuesday and I'll give you a quick update on what I completed on Sunday and yesterday, which was Monday. Um, I did get all four of these side support pieces in. Um, today I'm going to actually plug all the screw holes. So I got that to look forward to, about 70 plugs. Uh, and then yesterday I came over and I sanded the transom. These, all the uh, tabbing I put in along the sides and the top here. Got all that smoothed in. And I also sanded out the scupper openings as well. So that's all sanded. Now the scupper openings we'll start with first because uh, I only put one layer of fiberglass on there and I think I want to put a second layer on there. Factory only had one layer but I feel more comfortable with two. It's all plywood end grain and but I can just zip one on there today really quickly once I'm done filming this here. Okay, well, we're back on the boat after a couple days of not filming anything. Went around and plugged all of these uh, screw holes for the drain support system. And yesterday I came over and uh, chiseled them all off and sanded them down. So they're all good to go. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and you come back and watch the next one. So until then, have a good one and we'll see you really soon right here on Renovation Sportfish.